Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to give you a quick demonstration on how the Ceph Manager dashboard reacts to state changes within the cluster, particularly if OSDs are being taken out or down and in how the placement group activity is being visualized on the desktop. Um, yeah, you currently see the health status here. Um, this is a small VStart environment with five OSDs. Let's go over to the OSD page. First thing I'm going to do is change the cluster white flags and set the no in flag, which means that OSDs are not moving back into in state automatically when they have been set to out. Submitting that. As you can see, currently all five OSDs are in and up. I'm now going to start setting the first one to down or out in particular. And that change has been applied. You can see that the status has changed. You can also see in the dashboard that the health status changes, that PGs are degraded. You see um, which ones are in warning state. If you click on it, you get an active list of how many things are in flight at the moment until the rebalancing has finished and everything is in green again. The health state remains in warn because the no in flag is set and that, that's uh, self default. Let's go back and shut down another one. Let's take this one here, OSD1, and mark this one as out. And now we take a look at the pools table in the dashboard, which also should visualize, yes, there we go, what placement group activities take place when an OSD is being out. So and that's the remaining pool that still has some activity ongoing, which is also reflected here. In addition to that, you can get more details if you click on the logs page, which is just the health output uh, in text form. All right, going back, all PGs have been remapped to the remaining active OSDs. Health remains in worn because of the flag. Let's change that one to get the cluster back in healthy state. And everything is green.